previously in Let's Play Mega Man X. We had a boss rush. Now watch the final episode. Um, final boss time? Salutations, everyone. Yes, we're actually going after the final boss right from the get-go. No joke. I mean, all we have to do is go up this thing, and that's about it. And, yeah, it's pretty easy to go up this thing. And I got shotgun ice ready to go right off the bat because, well, when we get up here all the way up to the top, what are we going to fight? Well, we're going to find out. All right. Where is Sigma once and for all? Sigma! There you are. Hey, what's that dog with you for? Well, yeah. Zero helped me to get through this. I have his arm cannon. What? You're not gonna fight me yourself? You're gonna send your dog after me? And you're gonna call me a betrayer? You're the one who betrayed us! All right, I won't disappoint you on this thing. Bring it! So yeah, Sigma sends this dog after you for whatever reason. And don't get me wrong, this dog is somewhat of a, well, could be somewhat of a pain in the butt, but he's weak to the shotgun ice, and if you just, well, basically get rid of it really quick, it's not that big of a deal, so there you go. Now, after I defeat him, I quickly get Spark Mandrill's uh, ability out because it's time to actually take on Sigma himself. Yeah, you wonder why now? Because I'm stronger than him now. I defeated Vile. All right, bring it on. So yeah. Now we're going after Sigma himself, and the first thing I want to do is climb up the wall, because I'm a complete chicken. No, I want him to actually kind of jump up here himself, because, yeah, if you climb up the wall like this, he'll actually try to go up you and bounce off from one wall to another wall and whatnot. If he gets close to the top, you basically want to drop down and then shoot him with uh, Spark Mandrill's ability, because... Well, Spark Mandrill's ability is his weakness. It does the most damage. I mean, it's not really his weakness per se, but it is the thing that does the most damage to him. Otherwise, yeah, as you can see, when he gets down to the bottom, you can kind of see him, like, make a weird motion with his uh, lightsaber there. And, yeah, that's because, well, he can actually block shots, uh, basically, from any of your abilities. So if you shoot at him... He'll just block your uh, shots, and basically when he slashes at you, he hits like a truck. I'm not kidding you. Even with this armor on that Dr. Light gave us, yeah, he'll take about half of your health away. It's no joke. He is a pain in the butt. And, uh, yeah, best way to defeat him is to let him try to jump up to where you're at. And then, yeah, when he gets close to the top, you just drop down, hit him with lightning, and that's about it. So, there you go. He's not really that hard so but yeah we defeated sigma we ended his reign of terror ha ha we're actually really good uh wait what's going on here oh great it's not over yet so yeah sigma has another form he's on this wolf thing whatever it is and yeah he actually hits like a truck both of those, like, weird arm things uh, and whatnot, yeah, they hurt like crazy. And he's weak to Armored Armadillo's ability here. Now, as you can see, I'm low on health, so I have to use a sub-tank. And, yeah, I can understand people having a hard time with him because, yeah, he hits like a truck. And as you can see, already with one hit after recharging my health, Look how much damage he does. And this is with the armor on. Granted, the armor blocks 50% of the damage dealt to me. So, imagine if I did not have the armor on. I'd pretty much be, well, screwed. So, there you go. Now, there, I'm having a hard time getting on the hands. I don't know what was going on. I mean, granted, he is a challenge. I, I won't uh, be wrong with that, but I just kept growing up and fell off the platform here. I was trying to get up, but as you can see, the bottom of those, like, hand things he has, I, I assume it's his hands, they have spikes on them, so if you run into them, well, you're gonna get damaged. 
And that's pretty much the most part of why I'm getting damaged. But as you can see, he's got a flamethrower. He's got like weird energy balls he shoots at you. Mostly it's his hands that keep doing like, you know, weird attacks and they shoot lightning. And you can't really stay on them long because, well, obviously you're gonna get hit by them. And it's a real pain in the butt to kind of constantly do damage to him and whatnot. As you can see here, I'm down to my final sub tank. So yeah, I gotta make this count. Oh. Come on! Yeah! We defeated Sigma once and for all! Ha-ha! Bring it on, man! <laughs> you think you're a Rippler now? You're nothing more than a Maverick! Why have I done that? Because he turned Maverick! What do you mean, Usher in a new age? Let's get out of here. Got out of that one. There goes Sigma's fortress. Right over the water. Looks like it's self-destructing. Well, Sigma's gone. And so is Zero. Poor Zero. I'm always gonna remember you, man. I have your arm cannon. I'll use it well. Poor Zero. And yeah, it looks like it's the end of the war. For now. But, sadly, it looks like Ripploids are prone to go maverick at some time or another, and the war is just going to rage on. Nax knows this. That's why he's, you know, out here looking at the destruction of everything. I mean, you can kind of read it yourself right here, but yeah, it looks like this fight's never going to end. And X doesn't want it. He doesn't want to fight, but he has to. And I mean, I know people always complain that later on in the X games that. X kind of becomes whiny and that we hear too much of, oh, why do I have to fight and whatnot? I mean, it becomes a trend. But, I mean, really, what are you going to do if there's a war raging on and you constantly have to fight in it? Obviously, you're going to complain, why do we have to fight? But you're going to jump in there and try to fight as best you can until the end. And X knows that. He knows that he's going to continuously fight. He doesn't want to, but he has to. Yeah, maybe only later the X Buster on his hand. Well, it's now the Z Buster because we have, well, Zero's uh, Buster. Or do we? Yeah, well, yeah, we do have uh, Zero's Arm Buster, basically. So it'll be the Z Buster, technically. That's what Zero had, is the Z Buster. <laughs> Whatever. But guys, this was the first uh, game out of the entire Mega Man X series. And what can I say about uh, Mega Man X? What a fantastic game. I mean, it's Mega Man, don't get me wrong, it is Mega Man, but they did a slightly different way of doing Mega Man. I mean, granted, you had the eight stages and whatnot, just like the re regular Mega Man games, and I mean, it felt like Mega Man, you can run, jump, shoot, charge up your shots and whatnot. I mean, it was Mega Man, don't get me wrong, but this was in the future, and instead of having every, you know, Maverick that you had being named man at the end of everything like you know instead of like penguin man or eagle man and stuff like that it was just you know they were based off of animals and they had like chill penguin storm eagle spark mandrill i mean that becomes the trend in the Mega Man x series i mean all the mavericks uh that we fight or the reploids and everything they're based off of animals or plants or bugs and I mean, it becomes a trend throughout the entire Mega Man X series, so there you go, guys. But this was the first one, and this really set the standard on the X games. What a fantastic game. Absolutely amazing. Loved it the minute I played this game. And I mean, what can I say? When I first uh, saw this game, I actually thought it was Mega Man 10. Because back then, we didn't actually have Mega Man 10 that came out. I mean, seriously, we didn't. But... Now I know it was a completely different series. I, I learned pretty quick that it was a different series and was heading in a different direction. But what can I say? They still did a good job with it. It felt like Mega Man. It was absolutely amazing. And I mean, what can I say? This game really, really has some good story plots to it. I mean, that's kind of what they were going for with uh, the Mega Man X series is that they were trying to basically put some story into this and, you know, make you feel a little bit more sentimental on what's going on and everything else, so. 
But yeah, uh, what can I rate uh, Mega Man X? I rate it a 9 out of 10. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it. It's a really, really fun game. And by all means, I, I recommend you check this game out. Absolutely love it. It's absolutely fun. Mega Man X2 is also fun. X3 is also fun. X4 is fantastic, and I'll explain that when I get to it. But yeah, guys, we're at the end of Mega Man X. I finally beat this thing. So yeah, the next uh, game I'm going to go and take down is going to be Mega Man 8. Yeah, we're jumping back into the past again. Uh, you know, the Mega Man 8, the sequel to Mega Man 7. So yeah, finally, we're going back and forth. Mega Man game, Mega Man X game, and there you go. So the next game in the Mega Man series is Mega Man 8. Then after that, it'll be Mega Man X2. So there you go. Huh. Why are they showing out like a weird television in the background here? Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope uh, I showed you something in this game. Hope you learned something. Because I had a lot of fun making it. That's all I can really say. I don't know why I'm lingering around here. The game's over with. I can pretty much end everything. Just cut it off here. But I'm just going on. I guess I'm just rambling a bit. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. Really, I should just put the end credit thing here. That's about it. <laughs> but I just keep rambling. I don't even know why you're watching anymore. <laughs> why are you watching? <laughs> you expect something to happen? Nothing's really going to happen. Or am I lying? <laughs> oh, wait. Something is happening. What the? Oh, jeez. That was only a temporary body? Yeah, guys, Sigma's going to come back in X2. So, guys, I'll see you on X2 when I get to that. But right now, the next game I'm going to tackle is Mega Man 8. So until then, guys, you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.